with only the league now left to concentrate on, AFC Liverpool will be looking to start a successful run into the end of the season with a win here against Squires Gate of Valley Park today. When the two teams met at School Road earlier in the season, it finished 2 all the Reds' first goal that day being scored by Francis Barry, who makes his first start for the Reds in over two months after being out with injury. Barry loses out to McKendrick but keeps the pressure on as joined by Kevin and the Reds win the ball back thanks to their hard work. Barry takes the ball into the area, looks to swear it for Kevin, it's going to come through to Jones, he strikes it first time and he's just wide of the mark. What an opportunity for Stephen Jones to give the Reds the lead with only five minutes of this match gone. to the area, brought down by Myers, challenged by Brown, Williams is in there to win back possession for AFC Liverpool, quick burst out, one two with Stephen Jones, and Barry is away down the right hand side, forced a little wide though, into the area, he looks up, squares it to Williams who's continued his run, he lays it off to Buckley, he sets himself up for the shot, but he passes it over. For a half volley straight into the arms of Beasley though. He looks to set Dave on a quick counter attack with the ball out to Myers down the left hand side. Williams chases back, gets in a challenge. Sinnott with a header. Gate pick up the ball but has to lose control. And now Chorus can bring the ball forward for AFC Liverpool. The gate defence is back pedalling. Barry couldn't take the ball in his stride, forced a little wide, drills his shot wide of the upright. with a long kick down the centre of the park. Flicked on by Jones to Barry. He's got the ball a little stuck under his feet. Faced by Benfield, who sticks out a leg. Williams follows up with a shot, which is blocked. Corris will retain possession for the Reds. Looks up, puts the ball into the centre. He's headed clear to Buckley. Doesn't quite bring it under control. Is closed down, and that's a tame effort. Returns the ball to him. Looks up, sends a long ball straight down the centre of the park to pick out Francis Barry. His first touch has taken it past Beasley into the back of the net. And AFC Liverpool have a goal by the most direct of routes. For all their good possession this afternoon, AFC Liverpool score the good old fashioned way. One long ball, one touch, one bounce, one goal. It's Francis Barry's fourth of the season. Two of them have come against Squires Gate. Myers keeps the ball in. Kevin picks it up for the Reds. Barry lays it off to Jones. Back to Williams. Across to Corris. Good possession this by AFC Liverpool. And now they've worked a bit of space with Stephen Williams out on the right hand side. Faced by Thomas. Williams turns Thomas. Takes it into the area. Lays it off to Barry. He skips a challenge at Thomas. Puts a crossing towards the back post where Darren Torby comes in. The head AFC Liverpool. Two goals to the good. Darren Torby claims his second goal of the season and finishes off a fine move. And two minutes after going 1 0 up, AFC Liverpool double their lead. <laughs> Beasley with a long kick towards the edge of the AFC Liverpool box. Kevin with a header, it drops to Myers. First time volley. Bimson parries, and Williams is in there to prevent any further damage. Comes in, Bartlett gets his head to it, but he can't keep it down. And all of a sudden, at the very end of the half, Squiresgate are threatening. Thomas looks to pick out McKendrick, but Torp is there with a header. Kevin nods on, trying to find Buckley, but Richards intercepts. Makes some room for the shot, but he drags his effort wide. Throw in 
finds the substitute Shelmerdine down in the corner. Gets past Torpy but not past Buckley though. The referee seen more infringement and felt fit towards Squires gate. A free kick in a dangerous position. Fishwick whips in the delivery. There's Shelmerdine but fortunately for AFC Liverpool he can't keep his header down. for the Reds but he's been tackled by Shelmerdine and the Squiresgate substitute has gotten away from the Liverpool defender towards the byline pass Williams pulls it back for Myers who side foots it into the corner and Squiresgate have a goal back and it's something they've been threatening to do since the restart for all Squiresgate's pressure the Reds defence has coped pretty well and it's cruelly ironic that the goal has come about through a mistake Torpy's there covering, but Shelmerdine slips through, caught by Sinner, he stays on his feet, shouts a penalty from the bench, The Shelmerdine leaves it to Fishwick, Benson parries, Harvey's in there ahead of Torpy, Benson's off his line, and AFC Liverpool survive a mighty scare. Now Benson keeping AFC Liverpool's lead intact. He holds off the challenge of Stephen Williams. And faced by Mahama, who squeezes across into the area. But there's Chris Williams, a little bit of loose control though. And he brings down Richards and concedes a free kick in a dangerous position. Getting Myers to go for goal. And he strikes low into the corner past Vimson to grab his second goal of the game and bring Squires Gate level. Two goals up at the break and cruising. AFC Liverpool have been put back. And where once three points look certain, now one could be in jeopardy. Corris in with the challenge. Stephen Williams manages to maintain possession. Knocks it into Stephen Jones and suddenly AFC Liverpool are pushing men forward. Jones lays it off to Buckley, he's got options. He goes for the shot, but that's a waste. Stephen Williams with the header, but it drops straight to Horn. His ball forward is headed out by Chris Williams. Jones knocks it on. Jones gives chase and puts McKendrick under pressure. Puts the ball away, goes for the half volley. Could that goal be in AFC Liverpool's season? Seemingly two points <laughs> back into red possession. Fishwick strikes it and he's at it for Squires Gate. It's controlled by Benfield and Jones picks it up. AFC Liverpool could finish it here as Jones goes for the top corner but he's way off target. Oh, he does waste a few more seconds. The final whistle is imminent and there it is and AFC Liverpool how important was it to get the win there? Yeah, I think we knew before the game it was a six pointer, a massive, massive game to win. Um, and I think we've, we've done what we went out to do. So we do. Bit of a seesaw game though, 2 0 up at half time. They pull it back to 2 all, and Stephen Jones pops up with the late winner. Yeah, very much for the first half, I thought we were outstanding. Um, we closed them down all over the park, never gave them a chance to play second half. We knew what to expect because they were bound to come out all guns blazing second half. And he did <coughs> rode the storm and then 
Um, a few lapses of concentration, we've let him in, but Steve's called, pulled it back with a great goal there. Was that a uh, second half when um, Squires getting on top? Was that more t to do with them or more to do with you not putting the pressure on them? Um, probably a bit of both, to be honest. I mean, we were expecting them to come, f come firing at us, which they did. Um, but I don't think we dealt with it properly. To, um, took our time. Took, took our time, just got the ball down, gave ourselves a bit of a breather, but we were just panicking balls and wasn't closing them down as much, which which we needed to do. First half, though, that was some of the best football you've played this season. Yeah, definitely. It was uh, very enjoyable to play in. Uh, first half, I thought we could have had four or five goals. That was quite a game, wasn't it? It should have been more comfortable than what, uh, than what it was. Um, the first half, I think it's the best we've played for a long, long while if not this season. Um, we've gone 2-0 up, it probably could have been 4-0, four, 5-0 four nil, nil at half-time. Um, we've gone in at half-time. Um, we know what these 2 nil situations, we know what they're all about, we've been in the game long enough. Um, but it should have been comfortable. It should have been a comfortable win, not to be quite honest with you. OK, they're going to have a go, because they should have a go, they're 2-0 down, they're going to have a go, they're putting it on the back foot. Uh, but it's three points. And it's been a long time coming, a long time. How important could that goal by Stephen Jones be for this season? Well, that just tells you all about Stephen Jones, to be fair. He hasn't had the best of seasons, he'll be the first to tell you that. Uh, but that's what that kid's capable about, uh, you know what I mean? <coughs> Who'd have thought? I mean, if you, if you show that on Match of the Day or Sky News, then you'll be talking about it for a long, long while. Because for what he's just done there, it was, uh, to get the goal was absolutely amazing. I can't wait to see it on the video. I hope you've got it on the video, to be fair. But that's the lads all over. Hopefully that gives them a bit of confidence. The three points gives the, the team a bit of confidence. And let's just hopefully move forward. You had to work through some pressure by Squires Gate in that second half. Self-inflicted. Every bit of that pressure was all self-inflicted. We haven't turned them when we should have turned them. We've overplayed. We've took chances at the back. Hence, uh, I've just told the two lads, uh, Anthony Brown took a chance. He's the less man. Uh, they've got in, they've scored. Uh, again, Chris Williams, he, and he's been outstanding today, Chris, to be fair to him. Uh, and, and it's just little things like that. Once you switch off and you try and do things, you get caught and they've gone to score from the resulting free kick. Uh, and then we're back to the wall. Uh, but like I said, up pops uh, Steve Jones and great goal. Please by the character shown in the team to well, get the third goal there. Yeah, I said that to them. I said, well, it shows that we have a bit of character because that goes back to, to last year, if you like. Um, we, we, we've always had bits of character, uh, especially last year, but today, I think the character showed today. Uh, you know, like I said, the second half, we were on the back foot for long periods, uh, but it just shows that we've grinded one out, and, and it's, it's games like that, but hopefully change. Uh, but at the end of the day, it's only three points, but it's three points in the right direction. You started off very well today in the first half. Uh, some beautiful moves, didn't quite take the chances, but the heads didn't drop. Well, I've always said about this group of players in the squad, to be fair, they can play. He can play and, 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 and possibly that's our downfall at times. Uh, but I'm never ever not going to encourage them to. If they, you know, they go out and they play, and, and like I've always said, they can play. But there's, there's times, there's times they've got to go the ugly side of it. And that means if they have to turn play, uh, teams, do so. I've told the lads there, you're not a bad player if you put it in Rose Head uh, and, and you get your shape and your discipline back. But, you know, you can't take the football away from them, to be fair. The first half, I thought it was really, really enjoyable. Uh, I enjoyed it, and that's saying something. <laughs> first goal from uh, Francis Barry always seems to come out of nothing. A long ball out from Jackson, and he's onto it in a flash. That, that, that's this league all over, uh, and I think any manager will tell you that. Uh, once you turn players, they become it's a little bit of trouble. Uh, and, and to be fair, he's seen the keeper coming off, and he's got that, that, that the touch that he needs. Um, but again, you know, we just want one long ball. Horrible it may look, we've got a goal from it. And again, I'll say it, that's this league. Pleased to see that uh, you managed to get another one quite quickly as well. And Darren Torpy popping up at the back post. To, to be quite honest with you, someone said Darren scored. And um, I've obviously got to go to church now. Because I, I just can't believe he's there. I, I, and I said to him, if ever he scores, I'll go to church and be an altar boy. <laughs> so I hope there's a, chair, a priest out there that wants me to be an altar boy. Never saw that one coming then. <laughs> Certainly never meet a swear to God and thought I'd see the devil first. <laughs>
tough game against uh, Ramsbottom on Wednesday. I uh, think we can take the confidence in this to get some points out of that. Yeah, but, you know, it's going to be a totally different game. I mean, Ramsbottom, you know, we played them the other weekend and they're a good side. Uh, but at times I thought we played, uh, we, we made them look good and I'm not being disrespectful to them. You know, um, like I said uh, earlier on in the day or in, in, in the video after, I had three or four players, you know, phone up on that, the day of that game. So hopefully I can get people fit uh, and, and have a decent go. You know, so it's again, it's 11 v 11, whoever you are. So again, let's just bring it on. You said last weekend that you uh, let the lads go out for a night out to get to know one another. Are they going to keep to that tonight? Yeah, I've told them to go out um, to, to enjoy themselves if they see me, uh, to avoid me but leave me some money at the bar. Well, congratulations on today's performance. I'll have to tell them they can go out every week, eh? <laughs> but I ain't giving them the money. Cheers, thank you.